Okay, um, this video is about the Gauss-Legendre quadrature and that means that we have the weight function uh, constant 1 and we have a regular function which we want to um, uh, approximate the integral of uh, that is the integral from minus 1 to 1. Uh, if you have other bounds uh, this uh, method won't work. You will have to do some rescaling and uh, I don't cover this in this video. And um, our task is to calculate this integral using uh, the orthogonal polynomials p0, p1, and p2. And um, I've divided uh, uh, the way we will solve this task into four steps, uh, as you can see here. The first step is calculating the orthogonal polynomials. The second one is calculating the support points and the third one is calculating the weights for each support point and the fourth is putting everything together. So now we can uh, start with the first um, step where we will use this formula um, which obviously is similar to the Gram-Schmidt procedure uh, to um, like orthogonalize uh, polynomials to each other uh, so that in the end we have three um, orthogonal polynomials. Uh, the first one is uh, very easy. It's just one. Uh, the second one is a little um, a little harder, but um, if you look closely, you can see that um, this uh, dot product over here, um, which is, by the way, defined as the integral from minus 1 to 1 of the um, both, uh, both polynomials multiplied with each other, multiplied with the um, weight function, which is constant 1, is just an integral and, and symmetri and symmetric, a symmetric interval of uh, from minus 1 to 1 um, over uh, a an polynomial with an odd exponent. That means that they cancel each other out. I already drawn this a little ugly over here, but you can um, imagine if you have this one and this one Um, okay, I did it wrong, the wrong way. This space, uh, this area and this area, they cancel each other out, so they always will result in null, um, no matter what the degree is, as long as it's odd. Um, and this facilitates these uh, steps a little, and therefore we uh, get uh, x over here for the p1 polynomial and we get um, x squared minus one third for the p2 polynomial. Uh, here, here, over here we can use this trick again and this one we just have to ordinarily calculate, um, which is not that hard. Then um, once we have these polynomials we can use them, or we can use them to calculate the support points and the support points always are the points uh, where the polynomial with the uh, highest degree is zero and the one with the highest degree always is uh, like the one with the um, largest or highest um, index uh, which is p2 in our case because it has degree 2 so it has two um, support points uh, two, two zero points and those, those two zero points are our support points and that also is um, relatively easy here chosen in this example because I just want you to understand the steps you have to take and if you do this uh, with uh, like with another task uh, where you are supposed to use more polynomials it gets uh, a little messy quickly um, with like using four or five um, but just uh, we only do those uh, p0, p1, p2. Um, so our approximation will be a little bad, but that's fine. And um, once we have these support points, um, we don't we don't actually need these polynomials anymore. We, we just need them to get the support, these, uh, these support points. We can use um, uh, uh, the Lagrange polynomials to uh, calculate the weights for each support point. Each support point needs a weight so that we know um, like 
uh, how we get the uh, right um, result. And this is um, again just a very simple uh, calculating. You just um, start with uh, i equaling zero, uh, of course, because we have um, those two solutions here, and then put in the values. With a little restructuring, you can see that um, you get um, again uh, like a polynomial with an odd exponent. That means this part cancels. Um, you, you can just leave it out when calculating the integral. Um, you only have to like um, use the constant term or well, uh, the terms with even uh, exponents, but they don't exist here. And uh, we do have to calculate the integral because um, that might be important to say um, the integral over these Lagrange uh, polynomials from minus one to one um, equals the weights, the uh, according weights. So uh, we um, get two weights here, which both equal one. Um, and then we can proceed to the last uh, step, which is even easier. Uh, we just uh, put these things together. So we have um, the weights and we have the support points. And we just put the support points into our function so that we get the function values and weigh them according to the weights we calculated in the step before. Uh, this um, leaves us with the result of 1.84615 while the exact result is 1.81379936. Um, obviously this is like not a perfect approximation but it's okay because we just used um, two support points and we didn't have that much to do. So if you if you choose more support points, um, a higher degree polynomial, you get uh, way better approximations. And yeah, that's it. I hope you I hope this helped you understand the concept a little bit better. And uh, I did this because I did not find like short and quick examples. So hope this helps.